The face blend feature is a set of surfacing options used in situations requiring more control than a fillet. A fillet can be applied only between connected faces and cannot create a new surface, but the face blend can be applied to both connected and disconnected faces, and it can create multiple face blends that can be detached from the faces on which they are applied. Let's look at some scenarios that are common. Let's create a face blend between this vertical surface and this split surface that we have on the horizontal plane. We can switch the direction and even select tangent hold lines so that way we can get the fillet to transition from that bottom split line. We can detach it and we can show ISO curves. We also have control of the cross section of the radius, whether we want a circular, conic, or curvature controlled fillet. We can even turn it into a chamfer. Let's look at this scenario where we have two sets of surfaces that we want to blend together. In this case, we will take the face blend, select the bottom side of the tube, and select the split surface here, select the radius that we're looking for, and select two conic hold lines using the constraints and limits. As you can see, the ISO curves look very pleasing from this direction, and we can test the different types of control that we have at our fingertips right here. Let's set the magnitude of that curvature. Here we have a number of adjacent surfaces that we also want to take care of. I want to pick one vertical side and a horizontal side, but we need to select the propagation options. In this case, we'll choose adjacent. As you can see, the ISO curves are as you expect, but we can also change it to a swept profile. In this case, using the edge of the top surface to orient the direction of the fillet. As you can see, the ISO curves are matching the direction. We can also use limits to help start and stop the fillet from one face to another. Here in this particular scenario, we have the ability to take two sets of disconnected surfaces and connect them with a face blend with a hold line. Face one and two are selected. We select a direction and we select the tangent hold line. Furthermore, we have options to create asymmetrical face blends. Similarly, we have the ability to select inverted tangent edge hold lines. I'm going to select the top two surfaces of the vertical surface and the horizontal surface, choose my tangent edge, and you can see the difference between the uh, normal tangent and the inverse tangent. This is one of my favorites, the ability to set the face blend between planes. You go in here, you set the limits, choose the plane limits, and you can use the arrows on screen to help get you in the right place. This one's interesting. We have a cliff edge where we have a window inside of the fillet path. Choose set face one and set face two and we have the ability under constraints and limits to select the cliff edges one and two. As you can see, this is quite a deep tool set and there will be many different types of situations that you will be able to work with with the face blend in Onshape. We hope that you share with us all of the different great examples that you're able to create for the products that you build in Onshape today with the new face blend feature.